Hope your final review is going well. I had a couple questions from students um, asking for help on how to find critical values using StatCrunch, um, not using a table. So I did do a couple examples in the lecture video showing you how to do it, but just to emphasize it and clarify it again, I figured I'd make a video and send it out to everyone. Okay, so for example, number 21, um, we're gonna do a pooled T procedure, okay? Independent random samples in the fraud and firearms offense categories yielded the information on time served. Um, at the 5% significance level, do the data provide sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean time served for fraud is less than that for firearms? Okay, so it's going to be a left-tailed test. Alternative hypothesis should be that mu1 is less than mu2, so I'm going to go with E. I think most of them are pretty much the same. Okay, and then they want the test statistic. So all of this I've pretty much showed you guys already, but we can, why not? Let's just go through it again. Okay, so get that stat crunch rolling. And then we're doing a pooled T procedure. So you're gonna go stat, T stat, two sample. We have, they gave us the data, but we have the summary. So even easier, right? Um, sample mean for sample one, 12.43. Sample standard deviation, 4.54. Sample size, I'm pretty sure it's 10. I did check it for each one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's 10 for each. I've done this one several times. Okay, 10. And then sample mean for sample two, where is it? 19.23. Sample standard deviation, 4.5 seven and that sample size is 10 and then click yes we want to pull the variances okay um hypothesis test mu1 minus mu2 equals zero mu1 minus mu2 would be less than zero um you could click show the critical value okay uh, we haven't done that before why not and can we scoot this guy up a bit perfect okay compute so there's my T statistic, round to three decimal places. Oh, come back to me. Negative 3.338. Why did it go away? Fantastic. And then determine the critical value or critical values. So there it is, negative 1.734, if we're rounding to three decimal places. Negative 1.734. Well done. Um, I showed a different way when the um, when some students asked me earlier. So just to give you another example, say you only want the critical value. So what you could do again, just open StatCrunch. Here's another thing you could do. So we know it's a left tail test. So you could go Stat Calculators, and then you could go down to the T. And then we'll do standard. Degrees of freedom, you do have to remember for this pool T procedure, it's N1 plus N2 minus 2. So that means since each of the samples were size 10, add them together, that's 20, and then subtract 2. So degrees of freedom are 18. And then alpha was 5%. So that means we have to have 0.05. And if it's a left tailed test, that's the area that has to be in the left tail. So I'm gonna leave it less than or equal to. And then just hit compute and bam, there's the critical value that we also got earlier. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The other homework question um, in the review, I think that needed a critical value. That's fine, I don't need the points. Um, is 31 and it was for chi-square. Okay, so determine the null and hypo uh, alternative hypotheses. So the color distribution is different. No, is different, is the same as that report. Okay, it looks like it's going to be D. Check. Yes, we're very good at this by now. Okay, continue. And then compute the value of the test statistic. Okay, so just open that guy in StatCrunch. They want a goodness of fit test, alpha is 0.05. Okay, so stat, goodness of fit, chi-square test, observed is 
reported was the frequency. So that's the frequency. Expected is percentage. Make sure you get that right. Okay. Compute. So here, yeah, they didn't give us the option of getting the critical value. So we have the test statistic, 11.370. Okay, now how do you get the critical value? So this time, yeah, you're gonna have to do the other way that I showed you. So you're just gonna open the calculator, the chi-square calculator, since I didn't see how to get it while doing the hypothesis test. So you go to chi-square under calculators. Um, chi-square tests always right-tailed. Okay, so make this greater than or equal to. Degrees of freedom is the number of categories minus one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six categories. So degrees of freedom will be five. And then whatever alpha is, you put that here, 0 0.05. And that is our critical value, 11.070. All right, so hope this helps you guys out. Um, and you can just do the same thing if you need a critical value using the normal Z table, Z distribution. You can do it in StatCrunch, so you won't need any tables on the exam. No Googling allowed, no web browsing like you guys know, but everything is there in StatCrunch for you to use. If you have any other questions, you guys feel free to email me. Don't message me in Canvas. Hope this helps, and I'll see you guys Monday. Looking forward to it. Don't forget your IDs. Bring some water. It's probably hot and a mask. Bye.